interesting place to start actually is like what's up with what's up with people not opening doors men not opening doors i think they're afraid why i don't know the the perception what the women would think about them uh the equality issue playing huh? a part or they were never trained to do that that they were never told by their parents yeah but to open up a door it only leads to a, a good result the woman likes when a man opens the door tell yeah. me one woman that doesn't if they don't they're pretending they're faking i think i don't know i think um, american women don't really uh, appreciate as much huh. the gestures and they don't maybe sometimes don't even understand the gestures look i think i'm not a woman last time i checked right but they supp- maybe those feelings are suppressed deeply within them but they want those things to happen for them exactly because we're different we're biologically different like let's get over the whole men and women are the same stuff like we physically are different we think differently we act differently and there's beauty in that right there's no we have the same similar abilities but we have a different way of achieving and different way of acting and different way of, that's why we created different What about this? I heard I forget who told me this. I think I heard this in Ukraine actually. Actually I'm 100% sure I heard it in Ukraine. Men physically, most men have more physical strength. So if you put the two, the men is looked as perceived as stronger. But the woman's strength, she has to be more calculated, more refined and more intelligent with her strength. But actually the woman has the true strength. She can make the man do what she wants. <laughs> she chooses the man. So I've been told many a times. But that's that's how it is. And that's the strength. Right? So men think that they choose, but actually it's completely opposite. So what explains the fact that let's say okay, not all American women. We're working in stereotypes, but a lot of them a lot of them might not want that door open because maybe they have to pay something back or maybe they're thinking I can do it myself I don't know the psychology behind it because in Ukraine if I open a door it's universally 100% accepted and it's a, it's it's a, it's actually not even appreciated I think it's uh it's uh, yeah expected that's the, that's the word yeah in flowers yeah. that's that's a no brainer and as a guy the flowers thing is so easy it's almost so easy it's it's stupid easy where i'm like how does me purchasing these flowers going to have such a positive like how's that going to do so much it's almost like i cheated that's it, why you feel better in ukraine because yeah. you feel natural more natural as a man there you feel appreciated by the other this is good This is good. This is true because look, the um and it's not it's not woman this is your place do the dishes. It's not that. It's that you there's a yin and a yang. I'm not competing. There's no competition. You you do one thing, your partner does the other thing and together it helps both of you. interesting so, you so you're you're fa- your 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 how is it feminine and uh masculine mm-hmm. uh part is coming out there better the division of of the masculine and and feminine is more refined there than here you think this society is losing it in some way yeah and look each to their own but a feminine energy is a nice thing. Mm-hmm. I think most men will agree. Yeah, I I agree with that the society is losing it. Uh in a, in a, in a pretend or in a in a in a rush to to get equality. Mm-hmm. Uh we as a society are losing on on that uh nat- natural abilities of of the uh, of the mm, 
what is state sta uh, sta status st status uh, status yeah, yeah. Or okay so maybe I mean America was like that forty maybe forty years ago like that I think but I th okay so in Ukraine I find it very um, human let's just say for lack of better words it's very human the balance. But I mean, do you find that that women in Ukraine are uh, have to do more, and that they they are uh, they in same like they they have to be uh, feminine in same time they have to be masculine and do stuff around the home and around uh, work and they have to take care of kids and right. they have much more responsibility in life and they don't and sometimes they don't uh, they, they don't get credit from that sure fact it's a man it's um and women get do a much not everyone but a majority of the lifting and here life. is more equal half and half and here men pick up other home. way i almost see in san francisco men a lot of men doing a majority of the things yeah i see a lot of broken men carrying the carriage working long hours Dealing with some serious high maintenance. Yeah. High maintenance. Well, okay, check this out. Here's a theory I got. And you know better than me because you're a woman. Woman innately wants to push a man till he says yes, dear, to everything. It's like it's a power game. It's a power game. Like, will this guy say yes, dear? Like, will he stand up for himself? A woman thinks on the surface that it's the more she can get just like human being, the better. More, okay, he's gonna open the door, he's gonna buy this, he's gonna do this. No, I don't think so. I think... Check this, check this uh -huh, theory out, check uh -huh. this theory out. Mm -hmm. The second the man says yes, dear, to everything, he's lost all respect in her eyes. He's done, finished. We know these guys. So many guys, I say, what's the secret to marriage? They say yes, just say yes, dear, to everything. And you look at how they're treated, they have no, there's no respect towards them, right? So I think subconsciously, it's a woman's way of seeing how strong a man is. Because if he does say yes to everything, then it's then he's weak. It's done. It's over. But why a woman wants to uh, to to push the man say yes? It's the test. You know, when they do that, when they um, but when they don't trust a man, mm -hmm. and when they wants to control and they want their way it's not necessarily uh, it, it's not necessarily they want the man to say yes it's mm -hmm. what necessary what, what is important for them to they they think they know better mm -hmm. how to do things mm -hmm. and they just m want the man to follow so is okay. it clear okay. is yeah, it right yeah. what, what advice okay what do you what advice do you have for men then? stand up for themselves because women will take take over the world eventually. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying? Oh no, ma well, women are smarter. What can you say? It's like it's a different type. I mean, look at the look at the society. Look what's going on in universities. Look at the graduate students. Look at the the application process in universities. Mm -hmm. The 60, 70, 80 percent is women. It's it, the women are bec getting more and more power. I mean, it's not that uh, there yet, but mm -hmm. women are more curious. Look at the schools. The women are more, um, more. I mean, getting the leadership skills, and they 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 already have knowledge. They just need to that leadership skills to, to to shine. Okay. But eventually, that would would happen. I mean, I am all for equality and mm -hmm. i think it has to be 50 50 and mm -hmm. because that we are half and a half society so that's when we are together that's when we are mm -hmm. doing good to the world mm -hmm. but i mean right now i understand the women uh, push for the equality right because we don't have it in the world right now mm -hmm. so there for, for 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 some times we have to really fight for for ourselves yeah. but men have to be careful <laughs> um, because eventually women will take over sounds and that, like that's, that's a scary like that's, a, that's a that's a scary thought <laughs> <laughs> well 
wow, so women will control the world. Men have to stand up because watch out. It could come really quickly. Yep. Sounds like artificial intelligence. Um, but with that said, you were stating earlier that, look, you like these traditional values. You like the man to open the door. You like So if you have a, a large demographic or a large percentage of the population of women moving into leadership roles, maybe making more money than men, say taking all the weight of the world on their own, someone opening a door for them makes them feel maybe like, maybe weaker. No. No. no? Okay. Because then emotions come in. So it's then great emotions. You, you have pleasure. Wow. Okay. But you, okay, so you have an interesting position because you've, you lived in two starkly different cultures. So here, tell me the difference about being a woman here. Okay, th we could go all day on this or all week, I'm sure. But like, what are the big differences? Between being a woman here and being never a woman thought in about Ukraine. it really. Hmm. Like, do you? Do you behave, I, I, do you I behave I differently. Mm. I don't think so. I don't think I I behave differently, but maybe some little things I would probably. Uh, I mean, uh, my expectations are different from men. Maybe okay. like uh, uh, not just in the simple stuff. Like mm -hmm. um, I kind of uh, adopt my expectations to the general uh, culture of the society. So that's a difference. So what? What is the general culture here? General culture that women pick up heavy stuff and then open their own doors and pay for their bills in the restaurant and uh, don't expect flowers but in in uh, in addition to that women have a expect then that man would do half of the work at home and if i and it's hard for me to actually make that that choice do i want the, there's, I mean, it's it's impossible to make a choice because you do want them to be, uh, 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 cur courtesy, courteous, courteous yeah. and and show appreciation and respect mm -hmm. by doing these little things. Yeah. But you do want them to help you around the house. In Ukraine, it's completely opposite. So uh, they give want, a lot of courtesy for both, <laughs> right, right. Then the man loses out on that. You want the best of the Ukrainian system and the best of the American system yes. packaged into one woman. And the man's supposed to just... Yeah. He'll turn into yes to your guy, and then you'll no. hate him. No. If he's doing a majority of the things. No, majority, I mean, it's, it's half a half. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in in Ukraine, I know you haven't lived there for a long time, but how is it normally for a woman there? Like tough. Th tough. Tough. I mean, half uh, the like population is very uh, dom the women domestic. Uh, dom d d okay, there's more women than men in the yeah. society, right? Yeah. So. Uh, women have uh, less opportunities mm -hmm. to for leadership. They have to, but in same time during Soviet time we had so-called equality. Mm -hmm. So we did go to work and did earn the money uh, uh, equally to men. Mm -hmm. And uh, in same time picking up all the domestic work, uh, taking care of kids, uh, cleaning the house, everything. So. Majority of the l uh, load of, of homework and and work outside of home was on the women, and uh, men were just you know had a one task to make money, mm -hmm. and basically that's it. I, don't know. I, I was expected actually. I tell you about my home. Yeah. Let's say. The father was a like a king, so mm -hmm. he he has to be taken care of. 
Uh, the food has to be on the table. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, uh, I was taught not to argue with men. Mm-hmm. Um, I was taught that his word is the last. Mm-hmm. So it's like patriarchal society. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's how I was brought up. And obviously through the, like, I grew up and changed and I, mm-hmm. I, but I still have somewhere inside of me that, that ingrained in me. You want to make borscht for someone if you I would definitely, that. well, yeah. And that's nice. That's, that's like the whole point, because if it just turns pragmatic and all about efficiency, then, w- then relationships are like, it's just a transaction at that point. I would think I'm no relationship doctor. That's for sure. But uh, <laughs> when you're so when you're you've been in the states 17 years. When you're here, do you do you feel like you um, you're a different person? I mean, look, we're a product of our environments. Everyone is right to some mm-hmm. degree, and you can't help as much of an individual as a person is. You take in that energy or the the ways of a place you're in. So how, what is, and you can take this any way you want, but what is like American Miroslava like? What would be the big difference? How do you feel differently when you're here, let's say it that way, than say when you, when you, when you step off the plane in, in Ukraine and when you step off the plane at Reagan or Dulles? Does something flip? Does something switch? Is there any difference? Um... It's 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 tough to recognize particulars, but right. I think I'm uh, um, I'm more relaxed and um, th- relaxed about the way I'm dealing with things uh-huh. because I'm more in control of things here. Here in the U.S. Okay. Yes, because I know if I make a step right or left, I know the, re- the result would be a particular, okay. ex- and my expectation would be met. Okay. So it's more clear path mm-hmm. in every direction. Mm-hmm. In Ukraine, I feel confused. Hmm. I, I didn't have that feeling before when mm-hmm. I lived there, right. because it was a part of life, and I didn't know that there is possibility of different type of, right. f- of connections and 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 dealing with mm-hmm. with things um so that's why th- i i feel more um mm, uh, i mean it's clear it's just it's here is more c- the air is clear and i'm mm-hmm. i'm very i don't like trash emotional trash i don't like trash mm-hmm. uh, in the house, physical trash. I just, I really liked clean, clean air around me. And this society gives me that. In Ukraine, it's too much, too much um, uh, noise, noise, too much uh, uh, static around everything. And it's hard to hear yourself. It's Mm -hmm. hard to hear your voice. It's hard to hear your, uh, to, 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 to hear what you want, what you, or how to plan, mm-hmm. and if you're even planning something, it's not necessarily will go your way because of some other circumstances that does not um, depend on you and you don't control. So you have less free will. There. Yes, yes, yes. Does that make? What does that do to life? Does it make it? I mean, it obviously, makes it more confusing. But does it? Does it make it more alive? Does it make experiences more alive? Does it? Is there a good side to it or not so much? For me, not so okay. much. Um, the, the good side of leave, I mean, diff- um, in Ukrainian society sure. is that the, the people's connection. Yeah. When yeah. you, um, I mean, I still have a lot of friends there and, mm-hmm. and it's, uh, it's, it's very genuine. Yeah. Uh, connections here are not genuine. Mm-hmm. And they are very often um, s- uh, superficial. Superficial, yes. Why do you think that? Um, I don't think that. I feel that. No, but why do you think? Ah, well, uh, why? Why? Do why? You th- why why do you think it's, it's that it way? Um, I don't know. People have. Um, 
I, I don't think people live in the moment. Yeah. Um, yeah. Here, you know, mm-hmm. it's like uh, always about some something tomorrow, mm-hmm. something better by something better vacation, something better. Right. Uh, and and there, since there is no better, they live in the moment. Yes, you know? I 100% agree. Yeah. That's what really one of the big attractions to Ukraine is, is people are in their moment. Yeah. U- U- U.S. is constantly in the next moment. I mean, we're taught that from day one to like down, like all the way to retirement. Like people my age looking forward to retirement. Exactly. And so counting. Whoa. It's just so bizarre for me to do that. But I, I kind of get used to it because everybody doing it. Right. But it's hard. It's hard. And um, yeah. Ukraine, you don't know what's coming in five years, so you can't you plan c- it's five hard years to out. Plan. But you noticed, you observed. You're I in still, it. I still could not plan. I still couldn't plan a few months in advance. Mm-hmm. When people ask me about when are you planning to take a vacation, I was like, whatever I feel like, I cannot tell you right now, mm-hmm. because I'm not. I, I mean, when I may, maybe I will feel that I want to get it out in a month, and maybe in three months. Mm-hmm. Uh, or even, I mean, with, I mean, it's important to plan. It's it's important to have some sure. some some um, way uh, forward. Yeah, way forward. But I think it's it's too much here. They're at the opposite ends of the spectrum. Yes, for yeah, sure. Yeah, but that's one of the things I noticed even growing up here before I left. Anyway, I, I have some very good friends here, but I have very good friends in Ukraine, and I found the Ukrainians you get that deeper, richer connection. Almost like that I'm in the bunker and I need someone to get my back with the gun and we're going, we're, we're in this together type mentality. And I feel in general, obviously in general, but in America, when it comes push to shove deep, in the deep dark holes of life, that person might go away. walk off easier because it's not about the individual. Mm-hmm. It is about the individual. It's whereas, about you your, know, yourself about Always. yourself right which on the flip side pushes society forward people move forward they get over their shit easier they're not held back to things right yeah so yeah. an interesting okay i was talked briefly about it um to you but what's really interesting i've noticed in ukraine is for example i was on the marshutka the woman gets on with this this infant and, and naturally just passed it over to another woman so she get the money to pay for the marshuka, right? The woman gave, rocked the baby a little, did some noises and gave it back. No words spoken. And there was just something like, uh, very just pure and beautiful in that. It's very pure and beautiful. And I don't know many places, some African countries, yes. That's not common, and definitely not in the Western world. You never, ever see that in the U.S. So while people say Ukrainians don't trust each other, I hear that all the time, that is the most trusting thing you could ever do, is give your little infant to some stranger. Like, more than a car, more than anything, right? So that, to me, like, the place is still a mystery. (laughs) Seriously. Because it's very um, contradicting in so many ways. We don't trust you. I can't trust the package with my neighbor or this with that, but I'm going to trust you with my baby. It's 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 too much contradictory for me. It's too much uh, um, opposites. It's too hot and, and cold it's all the, the time. Banya, and banya banya it's everything. all the time. It's it's nonstop. It's just it's it's you 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 becoming stressed just being there and and seeing this the contrast in everything you have beautiful flowers and the trash you have right near you Mm. have uh, rich millionaire or billionaire Mm -hmm. and and babushka on the street selling her goods Uh, it it and it's you have a beautiful uh, renovated the hotel mm-hmm. and right near completely destroyed house mm-hmm. and and it's in your face nonstop and if if you're a person who is looking for harmony <laughs> it's it's just the nightmare and uh, and that's stressing me out big time 
but it's, but not, it's it, not for everyone. It's not for everyone. Makes Some you, people love it. It makes you look inward more because the exterior isn't always great. People always want to go to Bali to meditate and find the meaning of life. I'm saying go to Burhani Island in the middle of the winter. <laughs> And it's gray, and the, the the sky is fusing to the ground, and you're looking like the world is coming to an end. And some renegade dog comes at you, and you have to pick up a beer bottle and throw it. And it that that is looking in. Okay, that's not beautiful, right? But you think more in that existence, and I think I there, there's more of an awareness. How about that? I think it's it's depend on what are you looking for, and then yeah. if you are looking for that understanding of yourself and and in and turn internal mm -hmm. that's that's Ukraine for you that's for you <laughs> it's never been said before exactly. if you want to go on your inward journey and find <laughs> harmony within go to ukraine in the winter okay so what about the what about the young people what would you say to the young people and say you're living in kiev and you're clever you understand the world somewhat you now have a schengen visa you can travel if you get some money there's cheap flights into Kiev now that didn't exist a few years ago. You know, what do you, what would be your, your wisdom? What would you tell these people? Like, if you could give any advice to them. I'm not in a position to give advice. But um, I think make sure, I mean, the main thing is get, get rid of your fear and take control of your of, over your life mm -hmm. don't be afraid to uh to act mm -hmm. and um get a courage mm -hmm. to to make decisions mm -hmm. um i think the young generation of ukrainians are m more and more courageous and we saw that through the through let's say three mm -hmm. years ago at Maidan, mm -hmm. young people were the one who were dying there yeah. and who would go with sticks and nothingness to mm -hmm. against against the bullets. And that's courageous. Yeah. Um, and uh, we just need more of that. We just need uh, that the, 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 the that younger generation to overcome and and overflow the society. I mm -hmm. mean, overflow the society, and that maybe that will change the the country. As a person, the only th you you have control over your life. Yeah. Uh, you uh, you uh, try to understand what is your t what are your talents, mm -hmm. what are your um, um, what are you good at, what mm -hmm. uh, what can you bring to the society and just go for it don't think about um, somebody will give you something or don't think that uh, uh, somebody would come and ask you or oh, please work for me right. just create that job i would yeah i used to always create my positions nobody told me okay this is your job and yeah. this this is the scope of work you're you're supposed to do never and it's so i much always easier now to exactly do that, to create your yeah own. I always created my own scope of work at everything. And that's what you have to do. Would you say it's, it's fair to say that Ukrainians, young Ukrainians have more in them than they think, that they can actually rise up more Absolutely. than they might think? Absolutely. They have to be they just believe in themselves. They, they, the, the, with that moment of, of revolution that we saw, yeah. it's, but they have to repeat that over and over again every day i don't mean die yeah. i mean get courage to fight for their own life and their own future mm -hmm. in a simple way yeah. not on the street with the bullets right on in their life with their knowledge yeah create something little big small whatever you can yeah and go with it so you see a big difference between the generations. Like these young people, it's, it's a positive change, you would say, in, in general. Like they have a forward way of, of looking at things. They want a better life. They're not, they're not held by, down by the heaviness of, say, the Soviet past. So, the, I mean, it's possible the country can take a radical transformation in the next 10, 15 years, 20 years. I think the Ukraine is, uh, have potential to, 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 to get transformed very fast because the yeah. the people are smart yeah. and they are willing but the 
this the structure of the society is not and the political structure is not mm -hmm. there to um to um uh, to give that up uh, uprise or whatever yeah. I, I couldn't formulate to it to give that support that yes you need to, to yes rise up. yeah but it's and it's also n what I've found to be it's oppressive still oppressive the yeah. society is still oppressive unfortunately and some people do honestly think a leader is going to come in and save the day on a horse mm, that's not the, you are the leader yeah. think about yourself every single person has to think about themselves as a leader yeah of their own life, Responsible at for least your for actions. a life. Yeah, at like at yeah. Get up as early minimum. In the morning yes, and clean and, get and to put it. your bed together and yes. start working. Right. Because exactly. how do you how do you tell the world how to be if your own house isn't in order mm -hmm. in your mind in your in your life, right? Yep. Cool. Yeah. I mean, I I saw that. I came from Italy. What was it? Two summers ago. And I I. It's not the thrash the Italians. There's, everyone knows what's great about Italy. But I'm just going to say what I saw. I saw a people in Ukraine, a young people that were so much more driven and hungry than the Italians. The Italians have just been comfortable for a long time. And you were seeing right now in Europe and the unemployment rates for young people. It's like, it's like in this part of the cycle, I feel. It's, it's going down. Where I honestly think Ukraine is in Upright. this part of the cycle. Mm -hmm. It's like it may be on a bumpy bottom for a bit. But it's like it's it's gone through that and it's coming. Nobody's a futurist really knows, but there's a momentum and an energy you can feel in countries. I was in Greece a couple of weeks ago and that energy is not so good because they were comfortable for a long time. The Ukrainians have not been comfortable. And through that makes people hustle yeah. more. It makes them more real. They're resilient the too. Resilient. Yeah. So I go back and what? I've lived there for 14 months, 15 months. I'm gone a lot, but I plan to stay for quite some time. I don't know the way I operate my life. I'm not going to say I'm living there forever, but I really feel like I'm putting some roots down in the people. And it's only because of, of the people that are there. It's a very accommodating place to come into. I mean, for example, my language skills are pretty bad and, and people work, work you with You just me. have the attitude, open attitude to everything and, and, and inward looking. Yeah, but so. I, I find it interesting that a lot of people there don't see what's, uh, what's cool about it, what's you can special help them. about it. You can help them. Yeah. You can help them. That's maybe that's what your, your mission is for the next few years. Yeah. Show them and help them to understand their way, to get out of their own way. <laughs> right. Do you have any interesting stories from your homeland, from where you grew up? Is there anything? It uh, has to come out. I cannot. Just but I like saw like uh, I saw the picture of your house right next to this beautiful church. Like that, it looks like a fairy tale where you grew up. Maybe it was just the way the picture was framed and. No, 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 it was. I, I, I remember I was m the market, marketplace, the, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the main, main ploscha, main, main, um, how it's called? Um, square. Main, squ main square of the yeah. town. It was my backyard. So I learned to bike there and uh, and do gymnastics <laughs> on wow. that street and everything. We used to just spend childhood play soccer everything was all there. the neighborhood kids would in come front out of in front of like ra main ratusha main main government building and mm -hmm. the church on sunday morning at 8 a.m mm -hmm. i usually had the bell of the church waking me up when i wanted to sleep and then the bell on the clock of Radosha would start mm -hmm. uh, start their bells and that's that was my and, and now even now every time I go somewhere when I hear the belt it's like my childhood uh, it's it's very very so cool it puts a smile on your face. yeah and yeah. I go there I go there it gives me energy mm -hmm. I um, I need that uh, uh, going to your roots uh, I feel stronger when I get mm. energy from there. So 
as, as, so as much Ukraine as I can. So Ukraine recharges your batteries, despite how hectic and bonyolic it is in Kyiv. Not in Kyiv, not in Kyiv, but in in my home time, a core hometown. Yes, yeah. it does recharge me. There's something to be said for that that simplicity. It's nice, like just simple things or the forest or the middle of the forest where my uh, grandparents lived and where i spent a lot of time yeah. when i was a child mm -hmm. i go there too mm -hmm. just to sit on the in on the uh, in the garden mm -hmm. and under the tree and just do nothing just sit there and that gives me so much energy come bring me back to the to the roots to the to the reality to mm -hmm. to, n to nature but that nature is connected with my own land so it's it's it, i just have I just, it's like must for me that's the paganism in you mm -hmm. the possible. pagan roots possible because i think i you f you do even in kiev you feel that that pagan feel. i feel like i do maybe i'm maybe i'm smoking crack i don't know but i feel like i I honestly feel a special spiritual element to it. Kiev, Kiev for me is um, uprooted, uprooted, yeah. and well people are uprooted. There. I always feel when people are uh, connected to mm -hmm. to to the l to the land and d or they are uprooted. Always, I can I can read person like that. I am just I I start talking. Am, am I uprooted or connected to my land? You are. I think you are more connected than uprooted. But uh, you are uprooted by your own will, and mm -hmm. you are trying to uh, put your roots in uh, different places. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know. It's so you you are yeah you are connected, but you are connected to many places. Yeah. At, at, and you you just you you tr you try to understand whatever you go. Mm hmm. You get roots there. Yeah, I have a little bit of roots in Ukraine, but I, I'm not Ukrainian. <laughs> I never will be. You know, that's the difference of Ukraine and America, right? You can be American. Seriously, you are technically, right? Yes, yes. But you can be viewed as American. Yeah. I'll never be Ukrainian. Ukrainian. Ever. If even if I speak perfect Ukrainian, I'll always be the outsider. Whatever, I'm cool with that. I, I, it's a, that's that's got its own pluses too. But don't you feel here you're you're like you're part of this American and that's fantastic experiment. to hear. That's good that that I can feel home here. I can be as yeah. as natural as everyone else, and and uh, and I'm not immigrant because mm -hmm. everybody is immigrant, so it's yeah. normal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I always feel that in Europe that I'm not welcomed. In really? America, in, in America is well. The one first thing you you actually mentioned that when you come to, to the to Dallas airport and when the guard mm -hmm. would tell you welcome home and that's just Ye amazing feeling when you have that. Right. And I do feel that I come home, I'm welcomed in this country. Mm -hmm. uh, I never feel that in Europe, and I very often don't feel that in Ukraine. Uh, mm -hmm. I. No, I'm welcomed home. Yeah. But nobody tells me, and nobody gives me uh, that open hand in Ukraine. Thank you. You are on your own. There. Thank you for that because I never noticed that. <laughs> I'm always pointing these things out about Ukraine, but I, I didn't. I never even thought of that. Yeah. No. You could probably teach me a lot about America, to be honest, because <laughs> when you're in your country, you just don't see it. But that's true. Yeah, they always welcome you home. But in Europe, you don't feel comfortable. Like you don't feel welcome in, say, England and uh, I mean, Italy. I mean, I mean, I'm okay in England. Better, yeah. Maybe because of the language, sure. And maybe they're a little bit more careful. In yeah. France, I never feel welcomed. I always feel like they want me out. Hmm. Um, in Italy, they just to their own. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. Cool, Miroslava. I know. Uh, well, we gotta go. I think soon. I gotta go to the airport. But um, uh, we're actually okay. But you. Okay, I'll ask you a, a harder question. Do you do you think you could ever move back there, to Ukraine? Yes. Okay. No hesitation. You said that very quickly. Yes. Absolutely. So you're, I just will, you're willing to go into that that Banya-like experience where everything's chaotic and uh, 
absolutely. You, you left and right are so clear. If, if I feel that I will be needed there, I will be affected there, mm -hmm. and I can do something. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm very driven person. Yeah. In if I see that I can bring some positive results, mm -hmm. I will do it. But I don't see it yet. And I hope I will see it. I don't want to be. I I I'm. I want to be effective. I want to be efficient. Mm -hmm. And if I can, let, let's say what I'm doing right now, I think I'm helping a lot of people mm -hmm. in Ukraine. Yeah. And I'm more effective here. Mm -hmm. I will go the place where I would be more effective for my country. Do you just feel a better worth in life when you when you're helping more people? Yes, I just I I don't know. It's not about. It's. I f I mean my purpose is to. To connect people, mm -hmm. to inform, mm -hmm. to to give them power to make their their own decisions, mm -hmm. um, to show them the way. Mm -hmm. And whenever I can do it, um, right now it's here. Yeah, at my job yeah you have your team i am fantastic i'm 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 fantastically appointed to do what my purpose is yeah. to fulfill my purpose mm -hmm. um i want to do more obviously i would love to do more mm -hmm. um but the opportunity has to be there yeah. cool thank you that was mm. nice you're welcome it's been fun talking with you and i've been teaching you the history of dc uh, <laughs> story by story <laughs> We don't know it's truth or not, but it's been fun at least. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you.